What's going on guys? It is your boy Cash and today we are going to be talking about this little director's letter number one because it's not a note. This is a letter and I wanted to talk in depth about everything. Uh, I have been playing some other stuff but I do wanted to come and touch on this and give you guys my opinion and I am warning you. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. So without further ado, let's get a you think you do. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so here we are at this director's letter. I do want to read it in full and I want to kind of point out certain things about it. And again, I don't mean to be negative, but though I know most people think that I am, but I do want to point out a few things that have, I've said before and this kind of does confirm certain things about it. And as this is a good thing, as uh, sometimes they do, and I think this is a very regular thing that this happens that uh, they do something, a game, a company does something and we do give them a lot of praise and things of that nature when it's kind of like the bare minimum this is something that was obviously a problem for as soon as you saw the vagabond as soon as you saw saint west and they're now changing it after pettis and they're going to be doing some different changes onto it i kind of wanted to just talk about that because as much as i'm happy that they're noticing stuff it's just this there's still a little bit of things that i am still concerned with so let's read on to this uh, after today's update, many of you have shared with us your opinions. Most of all, we wanted to talk to everyone about our direction regarding the release of the na new nation in Sing Force. We have noticed that there are many worried voices regarding the release of a new nation. This is all because we had not thoroughly thought of the inconvenience that may occur as our focus was on providing you all with new heroes and stories. That already, to me, is an issue. <laughs> if they're only thinking about you know this is what they claim right so they only were thinking about giving us new heroes but from before they started doing that when they did fcs right they weren't they they weren't you know they weren't about giving you new heroes it was more about giving a skin and that was the only way you can use your zez the only way you can use zez was literally summoning for an fc uh summoning for a character just there was really no reason to do it but that's when they made the new nations and they were trying to you know make it the same even though they weren't then signature force came around and then you can kind of see that this is kind of one of those common things where people always say that the developers don't play their game and i've been saying that a little bit and usually i think it's a harsh comment to say because it seems really reckless to say that like oh they're not playing the game but i'm starting to see it now <laughs> what that comment means it means that they don't understand what they're doing and how it's going to ruin the game or how it could benefit the game in any way. The reason why I'm saying that is because look at all the changes that they've done. There's been so many changes to the game or even additions to the game that have not benefited the game at all. Uh, and I'm the, the, one of the biggest things that I have to think about is the Yapir's Labyrinth. That was a change that literally benefited no one but them. It did not benefit the player base whatsoever. They changed that you can't, you can't do it every day. Uh, sorry, you can only do it once per day. You can't do it as your leisure. And that was just to slow down the the everyone speed running the game and having pretty much the only thing that that stopped is uh, people having access to Zez uh, immediately, right? Because that would have been great if you saw something that you liked. You could have literally spent the entire day getting as much Zez and that could have been part of your mission to only do that when you really wanted a new hero or a new FC. But no, now you can only do it once a day and you're sitting there slogging through it. And now, even worse, again, I feel like this is an issue where it comes, uh, it's a complete different discussion, is that sometimes you don't need to listen to your, the community. Not everything the community says is is accurate. And I'll say that because the UPR's Labyrinth is so fucking easy now that they literally took away the only, one of the only ways that you could have like some type of satisfaction of building a unit. And they destroyed it and it made it this this thing that's like all the comments are pretty much it's so easy now if you guys have been looking at my most recent game that i'm playing which is monster hunter rise now that game is not easy nor is it hard it's kind of how difficult you want to make it and i think that that's the best thing i think that they had a good thing going with the your peers labyrinth and this is more personal mfo i mean the whole video is mfo but i really felt that I got shafted as far as the enjoyment of my, the game that I was playing in Exos Heroes when the game, uh, one of the modes just became really easy. It, before it was something that every content creator could really like help and guide people through, but now it's just so easy that you literally take, I take the same team that I've literally played in each one and I, and I auto it. 
that's disgusting and uh, everyone knows that my account is not that strong it's really not uh like i i'm slowly getting stronger over time but my account is really not that strong and I, the fact that i'm able to auto it and same people that are lesser than me can just auto it just seems like it's just so boring so this is kind of like when i say when they say like oh we didn't think that through it's like really should because if you want a game to uh, have a reason to play it on a regular basis you have to really be very thorough uh how when you add stuff or when you tweak stuff and when you do things like this so the new nation of course it pissed people off because it's been pissing people off for a while it wasn't pettis that did it it was literally probably saint west and if not it maybe even been vagabond because that you know but that was the first one where we were kind of like what's the purpose of this okay the is this the last one that they're gonna do no we're just gonna keep adding them on and it gets worse as we keep reading down uh, we realized this mistake and uh, from this letter we will deliver our current plan so the signature force consisted of eight nations including saint west from the recent update lenovo greenland estes republic wasted red north from fosti brone brune vagabond and saint west right when we first designed the signature force system we had plan of having total of nine within the signature force including one unrevealed nation so this is this is the craziest part to me right uh, if we go in the direction of our original plan, Signature Force Last Nation, uh, Miranos Island, which I think uh, Rara is from, was supposed to be added in Season 5 around December 2021, January 2022. And this is kind of something that I've been telling you guys uh, about, is that none of this stuff is new. <laughs> and what I meant by that in another video is that what they're doing in these games is that this is not new. They're not making this stuff up. Like now, like the, like the next stuff that's planned in the game has already been made. It's already made. It also, when it comes down to if they were to actually fix stuff and make and actually react to feedback, they could actually do it. But in a lot of cases, they don't. And yes, Exos uh, and Line Games, they do do certain stuff. But again, it's always that balance between, between giving us what we want and them staying on their monetization goals. Because yes, it's a free to play game and they have to stay on top of stuff. If they give us a million zez a month, then we ha then we'll have everything, and then there'll be nothing to summon for, and then you'll have every there's no reason you they won't make money. Yada yada yada. I got it. But I feel like this is a continual cycle that is not good for the a player base in these games because, like I said, this stuff is done. These characters as cool as as we are seeing them, and this is why the data mining and all this stuff even comes down to it. They already have this, <laughs> so. When it comes down to why wasn't this fixed when you did Brune? Oh yeah, I forgot. Even Brune's a new nation, right? Brune, Vagabond, when they in Saint West, people were saying like, "What is you know?" There's no purpose of getting these characters, and it's like now they're seeing it because they, they're seeing the same feedback over months. But they still have, and I'm not even gonna go into the store, but they still have a tons of packs uh, revolving around Pettis. They have a tons of packs when Black and White came out, so they they still seem to be perfectly fine. <laughs> with uh when they have definitely feedback against certain things but they don't really feel like doing it but they decided to do it here the new nation pettis or fetus fetus was it actually supposed to be fetus I, I think it's a typo uh that was revealed from today's update will not have their own signature force but the new heroes from pettis will be able to freely move around signature force nations this was to reduce the burden of strengthening nations every time whenever they were newly added we are still in the process of developing the signature force in nation change system further explanation regarding this matter will be announced later on so it's still a problem right uh, obviously that's still gonna be a problem because you still have eight nations <laughs> and uh, vagabond just got blessed Brune and st. West uh, st. West just got started even though there's two tiers above that I've meant I mentioned this before is that the fact that they're not all on equal terms is just kind of weird and stupid and it makes really no sense at all and if they were to have done added another one which is Miranos, just like well what the heck are they doing they have a severely bad balancing issue that they need to correct and that and that's like I, again i'm not trying to be mean but like they need to make them all pretty much on the same thing so you can invest into whatever the fact that right now you, you just be greenland wasteland and like waste uh wasted red not wasteland uh wasted red and i think that after that you really just have uh lenobre but Lenobre will be even stronger once they get to their last tier. And it's just, again, the nice slow roll. And I guess I get that they're supposed to do that. Well, not supposed to. They Most games just like to do it because it stretches out the content. But they haven't been adding content. They added very little. I don't know. And then we have the Quantum Raid, which that I... Oh, you notice I haven't did a Quantum Raid video, right? Because the whole support system is five times a day. But when you use it, it, it has an hour cooldown. What? what Woo, i don't don't even get me started 
So again, this is pretty short. I would like to sincerely apologize for the imperfect plans that caused the inconvenience to everyone who is enjoying Exos Heroes. From now, we will do our best to inform you with our long-term plans beforehand. You don't necessarily need to do that. Even though we may miss out some parts that matter, we will try to be the development team that is always ready to solve the problem as soon as possible. Now, again, they have done a decent job of fixing certain things, but mostly it's like, you know, the, the, the fixes that they did was at their own fault, right? That those uh, issues within the summoning things and they give out the summoning stuff, which is cool. But the development of the game, actual development of the game, like a bug fix to me is not like, yes, you should fix your bugs in your game. And I don't even think, I'll, I'll go on the record, you, they don't necessarily need to compensate us in certain, all the time when they make a mistake like that. Just fix the mistake and we could be Gucci. But how you develop the game is actually a bigger issue, in my opinion, because that's how people look forward to playing. And it's really hard to keep playing the game when it's like, that's the decision. This is like, this is what about the scout system? I've been probably one of the only people that still actually do the scout and I still haven't gotten one unit. Where, what happened to that? What happens to PVP and how it's very stale right now? Um, Coliseum, tons of billions of, of uh, conversations and suggestions have been sent and have been noted about how to make that better or just in general, just to take the RNG out of it to make it more enjoyable. Nothing. So it's just like, this feedback, I feel like possibly hurt their money. I feel like maybe they were expecting to make more money off of the new nation and it just didn't happen. I mean, I think maybe that's what happened and they, they're like, oh, sorry, we, we, you know, please summon on this. But see, now the fact is that I got shafted here. Now, not that I'm upset about it, but I got shafted because I summoned and got my additional copy of uh, the general, the so-called general of Pettus. And now it's technically not going to matter because he's not, they're, they're not going to have their own signature for it. So what was the purpose of me finishing my summon after 21. I think I had 21, I did seven additional summons to see if I can get that. And now he's not gonna get a signature for us. And I'm pretty sure that there's other people that did that too. And they just get shafted, that's just, that's just it. The same thing with the whole silver fake core thing. They you get shafted that you got a silver fake core that should have been in the, in the summoning pool regardless. So as much as I would like to be happy about this stuff, it just makes me very concerned as far as like, what are they going to, to do next? You know, what have they planned going forward? And yes, they can tell us their long-term plans, but how much influence do we have on that when they were literally ignoring tons of feedback uh, from content creators, from their comment sections, and they only seem to do it when it's like either super egregious. Like when people saw it, they probably like, well, look at the designs, look at the, the, the animations. They're like, all the characters are really good. Dana is really cool. Lang is really cool. Hero, whatever the heck his name is, really cool. They look amazing. But why are people not excited? Why why isn't that why are they not jumping head over heels to these characters? Because it doesn't work in the damn game. And a lot of it, a lot of stuff in the game doesn't make sense. The 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 collab didn't make sense, but they didn't come out for the collab, right? Because they probably made their money already. You know, like so why didn't they say this? Oh, we we should we're gonna switch the collab units so the collab units can do that. Now, could the collab units be part of this signature force nation change? Absolutely they could be. So I'm not like, I'm not ready to give them props for anything because I don't know what the Signature Force Nation change system is going to be. When, what I would suggest that it be is that it has not, it, it extends past just these units. I would like to see, like kind of cause, let me go in the game. One of the best examples I have for this is going to definitely be, let's see, where is it? I can use Burnivus as an example, right? You go to his hero story, right? He's Carrie's guardian, right? Nation Brune, but he's not under Brune, if I'm not mistaken. I think if you were to see, uh, I think he's probably under Lenobre or something crazy like that, right? His whole thing is revolving around Brune, right? This is Burnivus with the skin, but he's Lenobre, right? So what I would have preferred um, is that you can literally alternate them or maybe each character has like two different nations that they can be a part of. Or if I were to even be harsher was that the FC could have been relevant FCs, like we could have had Burnivus in his Lenore version, and then you also could have had a Burnivus FC skin that changes him over into Brune, and we would have had more selection for Brune. Because even if you put Pettis and you let them switch into a couple other things, well, it still doesn't seem like enough to me. I, I think that th this is a horrible issue that they had. Like that they do Mahar, same thing. Len Why is Mahar Lenore when he's clearly aligned with Brune? And this, this goes for a lot of these characters. I think that that could have definitely been 
a lot made more sense. It would have made story sense. And I think that another disconnect is that the FCs that they make are just really cool designs that don't make sense to anything. It doesn't add any value to the game. It just adds a value to the art director and uh, well, the art team. And they're just going to, you know, the next project is if they have a really good development team will be phenomenal. But the thing is, like, as cool as FC Shell and the crew is, you know, she's Estes Republic. But I don't, I, I don't know. I'm just using her as an example. But this would have been cool if this version of Shell is more aligned with a Lenobre or something like that. And then they could have then made multiple tiered skins. And then it would have been so exciting in, in to see like, oh crap, Shell is going to Greenland. There's a new Shell Greenland skin, and it could have been revolved around the theme. And then you would have had uh, the nations better represented. Right now, the nation of Brune doesn't really mean anything. The Estes Republic, if you pay attention to the actual story, has a theme that like everything's me me uh, mechanized and stuff like that. It actually makes way more sense that the Estes Republic would have been the machine nation uh, and everything like that because they're, most of them are about machines that use mechanical stuff, but they somehow ended up being nature with Janai. So yeah, whatever, I don't, doesn't make sense to me, but that would have been a very smart in my opinion thing like oh and like ulum this version of ulum being like an actual you know using this mechanized stuff maybe that would have you know she would have been she, this was the ulum that went to ss republic to be remodeled to look more in the image of rara or to be able to play with her or something like that i hope you guys understand what i'm saying like it, it just it just seems like so much stuff is missed off the mark that would have really made this game phenomenal and they're always just i feel like they're, they're talking about their long-term plans but i feel like they're still two steps behind but hey that's my rant my rant is over i just wanted to just kind of share that because especially like i said once i start playing other games and uh guys check out the monster hunter rise uh playthrough where i'm showcasing uh the fun that i'm having there it's just that once you start having some fun with some more fleshed out games regardless of like you know paid or not paid I think that it has to have a warrant that the game has to be good. I don't care if I paid $60 or I paid no dollars. It has to be good. It has to have warrant to it. And I can't keep giving a game the benefit of the doubt because, oh, well, you know, I didn't pay for it, so I guess this is what I get. Then why should I invest time into it? Why should I make content for it? Why should you play it? Why should, you know, another content creator make time for it? If all you're doing is giving it the benefit of the doubt and you're not enjoying yourself, you're just playing it because you sank so much time into it you just feel like you have to and i don't think that that's a healthy way to place the, the in an activity that's supposed to be enjoyable so that's all i have to say so i don't want like again i don't like complaining all the time but like when i saw this it's like damn so they had this plan they were going to keep going out and thankfully and again for people like me and i know people don't like when people talk negatively about a game that's why things like this happen have to talk up you have to speak up if you don't then they're gonna literally go on they would have stayed on their plan and you would have been upset in your own house <laughs> and nothing would have got done this is why i stress that you have to complain and you have to tell people like no this is not acceptable this is not good and this is the same thing that happened when they tried to throw out that first banner i think it was the the, the paid banner like you would have had you could have got any general or something like that but you just it was like only through paid currency and they completely ditched that idea because i got a tremendous amount of negative feedback so it does work guys and at least with this company it works that they're at least going to somewhat re somewhat react to very 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 negative feedback i'm assuming that they got on the new nation but again they still don't do enough i feel like as far as that yfo's in the comment section below let me know how you guys feel were you super excited about the the signature force nation change did it re give you hope did you think that it's not enough for me like i said i'm just waiting to see exactly what it is because i feel like a lot of times they do recognize that they've made some type of mistake but the only time that they've ever come fully through is when it's compensation this is something beyond compensation this is how they develop the game. Completely different things. Compensation, in my opinion, is very easy for them to give out because it's literally fake shit. <laughs> it's fake currency, fake everything, nothing. How you develop a game, I guess it's a fake game, right? But how you develop a game is what's gonna keep you playing this game for years to come. What's gonna make you keep playing the game? There is no compensation for bad development. That's all I gotta say about that. Why folks in the comment section below? Let me know how you feel. And just remember that every day the catching you lose your lucky day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.